Rolls top hat. That means Royal Ascot. Ambassador Travel can take you there. I'm joined by Brad Spicer, and uh, any syndicator would be absolutely tickle pink to have a runner in the uh, Melbourne Cup. And you've got the billionaire. Uh, what do you think of the barrier? The barrier stinks, Ian. <laughs> Drawing barrier 24 wasn't our game plan. You know, we wanted to draw, well, I wanted to draw between 10 and 12. The trainer wanted to draw one. Uh, 24, I suppose we've got to rethink our uh, game plan on race day. He'll obviously go back now. And uh, the, the positive out of it, he'll miss that, that early scrimmage on the fence going out of the straight the first time because we'll be out uh, close to the outside fence, the inside fence. Uh, but look at the horse as well. I thought his run in the McKinnon today was super. Um, obviously dropping the six and a half kilos back to 52 is, uh, is going to be a big help for him. And Craig Newitt got off the horse today. I was pretty bullish about his winning chances come Tuesday. Well, the great thing about a low weight is that you can go a little bit further back in the field. And if you can get on the back of the right horse going to the race, that's certainly where he, be, he could really unleash. Well, I think that's the plan. If we can get a nice suck into the race from about the 1,000, and just get on that right horse who's going to take you deep into the straight and peel out, you know. Uh, I'm sure he's going to look like the winner at some stage, but whether he's seasoned enough to, to get that strong 32, uh, we probably won't know until after Tuesday. Yeah. Well, how long ago did you target the race, and, uh, and how long have you been able to keep the uh, syndicate members' uh, high hopes under control? To tell you the truth, uh, we never actually targeted the Melbourne Cup this year. It was always the Caulfield Cup. Damien Oliver sat down with Leon after the, the derby in South Australia in May and said, I think uh, that's the best race for him at, at this stage for, of his career. But then when, you, uh, when the fuels come out for the Caulfield Cup and we're already in the Melbourne Cup, you know, Leon started to think, well, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a real live chance in the Melbourne Cup. And, and it just showed today, his run today was full of merit and, and he's going to run top 10 hopefully in the Melbourne Cup. Tails, top hat, that means Royal Ascot and Ambassador Travel can take